I'm going to have a crack at the British Open. Golf? I never even played bloody golf before, Dad. Mind your language on the course. F***ing oh, hell. Free Dreamers deserves a shot, says the new film The Phantom of the Open, which stars Mark Rylance. The Academy Award-winning actor plays Morris Flitcroft, a middle-aged shipyard worker who chased his old dream to become a professional golfer and charted his way to the British Open. Despite his lack of professional training and experience, only with overflowing greed and determination. As so is his amusing character, Rylan tells, every dreamer starts from somewhere and his started one fateful night. In about 14 or 15 on a Friday night in the winter time and I'm, I'm going up to a school sporting event and I'm very shy and nervous about going to this event and seeing people I don't really I'm just not looking forward to it. I'm walking past the theater of the school where I went and I see there's a little light on in the door of the theater. It's about seven or eight at night. And I think, actually, that's where I'd like to go. I'd like to go in there. And it's all dark apart from this light. And I go and knock on the door. And, and sure enough, some of the older uh, uh, boys and girls, like the 16, 17, 18 year olds, they're in there making a set for the next play they're going to do and I ask them can I, can I come in and help and they say yeah and for the first few weeks or months because I was the youngest I just carried the rubbish out as they built the set but they played records and they laughed and they included me like a family um, uh, uh, you know as we built this set I was too shy to act at that time but that that was a really seminal moment for me that night and I'm so glad that that window wasn't taped up but there was a little light and the shining light provide hope and inspiration in the extraordinary journey of the world's worst golfer is his better half Jean played by the remarkable Sally Hawkins who together with her twin sons cheered for the star golfer in the making and having people who root for you is important Jake Davis, who plays the doubting son of Rylance in the film, realizes. When you work with people that aren't really like giving and, and do believe in you, then that's that's that helps to do that. He's a nutty dresser. I'll give him that. Merci beaucoup. Success, as explored in the film by director Craig Roberts, is a continuing process that one endeavors to achieve each time. Oh, every day. Um, I have massive imposter syndrome. Um, so every day for sure and also uh, as a director that's kind of all it is really you know you it feels like you're conducting an orchestra of very talented people and you just have to you have to feel like you know what you're talking about so probably every day phantom of the open serves as the screenwriting debut of simon farnaby who believes that in confidence building the way to one's dreams by faking it till you make it can really work in wondrous ways I hadn't got a clue what i was doing i was a bit like morris flickcroft is it golf i just went i'm gonna write a screenplay I think it's going to be pretty good, and it wasn't, but I kept going. But I did have ambitions, of course. If you could do anything in the whole world, what would you do? Drink Guinness. <laughs> have a dose of life affirmation in the uplifting the fandom of the open in cinemas for March 18. For the Showbiz Report, Marvin Olasco.